So what's important to me is that they can hear us coming before they ever see us coming. So subwoofers all the way up. Yeah. What's up guys and welcome back to the S3 Power Sports Shop where on this episode of Getting It Done, we're gonna walk you through the new Maverick Can-Am audio roof. We're gonna show you how to install it on one of my cars and we're gonna show you the brand new released Max version with the subwoofer. So let's get this thing done. So we just had our audio roof show up from Can-Am and this is the one that you order straight out of the BRP catalog and today I'm unboxing it for the first time so you're going to get a first look with me as we open this thing. But keep in mind right here you're going to want to cut your buddy and not your body. That's just a good rule of thumb. As you can tell I've got quite a large package and this thing is for Manny to install but you see how big it is it's because it's a full drop on roof. It has got some hog daddies in here all Rockford components eight inch speakers they squeeze the biggest they could in this roof so you will actually remove your factory roof it's like a two wire hookup that goes straight to battery and everything is self-contained on this thing your party in a box as manny calls it so should have some uh, insulation hardware some zip ties to hold wires down yeah can-am sent you a plug and play harness with only three wires in it so this ought to be really simple and nice. So this unit we're working with today has a factory roof. We're gonna disconnect it. It has some quick disconnect pins on top. These things just turn counterclockwise like a quarter turn. They're also fastened with these Velcro straps around the front bar that you need to undo as well. Skag, wow. So there's some insulated grommets underneath the roof. Go ahead and get them out of the way. So we're gonna have to cut the uh, warning label. Here it is. If you're manning, it might take two or three shots to figure out where this rivet is, but once you do, grab a 3 16th drill bit, your favorite drill, and punch this little rivet out. While Manny's doing all this work, I'm just gonna do a quick detail job on the car to get the roof ready. It's all right, I'm just cleaning up, get us ready for the roof, Manny. Well, that's pretty simple and straightforward. We're ready to throw the new roof on. Go all the way over the cage where your wires fall on the back side of it, and just drop it in place. Super easy. That is easy. So with the M12 supplied hardware that Can-Am's provided, we're gonna go ahead and secure the roof to the cage. You're gonna go bolt, washer on, drop it through the roof, another washer underneath, and then put your nut on. With your 13 millimeter wrench and 13 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and torque down the bolts to spec on all four corners. Make sure that the wiring harness that's coming out the back of the roof is not pinched between the roof and the cage, and it needs to be directed towards the driver's side of the vehicle. After getting our roof secured, we're gonna go ahead and remove the passenger seat so that we can run wires to the battery. Now with your 18 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and undo the two back nuts. Switch over to your 13 millimeter socket and 13 millimeter end wrench, we can get the front bolts. And then we're gonna get the side panel off the center console and pop it out of place. To run your wires, we're gonna go ahead and remove this corner piece right here with some Torx 30s and pop it out of place. It is clipped into the frame, so be gentle when you're pulling it out not to mess the tab up. We're gonna grab our wiring harness and the zip ties that go to the firewall so we can secure it properly. First thing you need to do is locate the quick disconnect and the subwoofer. It can only go one way, but just make sure that your positive is lined up with your positive and negative lined up with the negative. Using the supplied zip ties, go ahead and secure the wire to the cage. So using your zip ties that hold it to the firewall, we're gonna run it along the back side, working our way towards the center console so that we can go through the access hole in the center. There's some flat lips over here on the firewall. We're gonna go ahead and secure this style clip on it and then zip tie to it. When you're running your wire through the back of the firewall, make sure that it's not rubbing on anything sharp and pinched up in between anything. Now we come over to the inside of the vehicle. So we're gonna take your positive wire and your negative wire and hook straight to the battery. What do you wanna listen to first, Manny, when we get this thing working? What song you think? Maybe like some Selena Gomez or something, your favorite? Yeah. So what's really cool about this setup is the lights that are on each one of the speakers can be controlled by an app so that you can do it from your smartphone. But also the remote that came with the kit will control the lights as well. So we're gonna download an app called Light Mesh. Last thing you need to do is just trim up all your zip tie loose ends and you're ready to party. All right, so now that Manny's got everything hooked up, I'm just gonna go ahead and kick the whole system on. Next, I'm gonna fire up the Rockford Fosgate head unit. So we're gonna start with the simplest first. It came with a remote, and so they automatically, when you hit the button, they fire up immediately. This thing's obviously already got batteries in it. So there's different settings. You can pick a color, you can cycle through a bunch of different colors, or you can set it on a full loop to where it just runs through the full color spectrum. So, dude, this thing is so sweet, straight out the box and ready to rip. Now, I'm gonna get my app hooked up, find the Bluetooth, connect it to my smartphone. So literally I can take this thing and move it around. 
and the colors change while I move my finger. And then like to fine tune it, I can find a color that I like and then move it lightening, darkening, and then you can pick up and slow down the speed and it literally responds immediately. That's gotta be one of the easiest audio installs I've ever done. Now this one's for the two seater that they've had out for a little while, but what KM is most excited about is the release of the same roof for the X3 Max. So we've got it set up on the brand new 2021 car. And this roof comes rigged out with six eight inch speakers, the same head unit. But what this car has that's super cool is the dual subwoofers mounted under the seat. And so if you've got any questions or you wanna set your car up with one of these roofs, go to your local dealer or check out the Can-Am website and you can find all this stuff to get your car set up for riding season.